Hello gorgeous and welcome back to another full moon reading. So I am doing a health reading for the full moon in Scorpio, which is happening on either April 26th or 27th, depending on where you live in the world. So this is going to be specifically regarding your physical, emotional, and spiritual health. So I'll be pulling from my chakra insight Oracle deck to see what chakras and areas of, of the body require your attention during this full moon in Scorpio and any hidden causes of physical ailments. Um, I was just called by spirit to put that in the title. So if you're having some issues with the physical body and you're not understanding what the the root cause of it is, I'm we're going to touch on that in this reading. Okay. Um, then for your emotional health and well-being, I'm going to be pulling for my um, self-care oracle deck. And then for spiritual healing, I will be pulling from my Oracle Angel deck. All right. So I'm just going to hop right into it. All right. People will show as they show. I will also be posting this on YouTube as well. All right. So God Source Universe, Divine Creator of all things, what physical health messages do we have for everyone who is or will be watching this? Okay. What physical health messages? Do we have? Whoop. Whoa. Okay. This full moon energy, you guys, is really intense. Um, comment if, if you've been feeling it. A lot of um, emotional release, a lot of um, throat chakra activations, like really speaking your mind without realizing you're speaking your mind until you do. It's just a lot of outbursts. Okay. So we have two solar plexus chakra cards all right so we have choice and inner child and then we have two heart chakra cards so we have connection and then we also have passion all right so I feel like all right so there could be some and again this is health messages right so this could be signifying some gut issues that are causing heart related issues because we because I got the solar plexus cards first to me that is the origination of whatever is causing heart issues if you don't think you have or you don't aren't aware of having a heart issue um it could be just a, a silent form of inflammation so there's two types of inflammation, loud and silent. Um, loud is anything you can feel, right, or see, right? Like um, a rash is an example. Um, any type of pain you feel internally, that's loud inflammation. Silent inflammation is like a tumor growing or your arteries filling with um, cholesterol, <laughs> okay? Um, arterial blockages, those are things you don't feel until, you know, it's very, very severe, right? Okay, so what I'm seeing is these gut issues could have been from childhood, okay? These are some, like, I'm seeing a lot of, um, like, behaviors in the family, like eating behaviors that have just been passed down. It's like you've just adopted your family's eating behaviors um, from childhood, and now you are, like, at an impasse. You have a choice whether you can you know, change your eating habits to improve your health, or you have another choice to continue what you're doing. Um, I feel like, and this, you have free will choice here, right? However, we all know if you make a choice to improve your eating habits, you're going to improve your health, okay? So with the heart issues, we have connection. So I feel like they're good, there's like a disconnect, like you're not seeing the connection between the gut and the heart, okay? We talk a lot about the, um, the, brain and gut connection or gut brain connection. There's also a gut and heart connection as well. Okay. The heart actually has its own, um, its own nervous system. Okay. So your heart has consciousness, your heart has awareness. Okay. So this card says universal oneness, love, interconnection, and support. It could be a feeling of lack of support in making this health related change for you from your family. Um, but it could, I'm getting like, it's all in your head. Um, if you don't feel supported, I think if you do choose to make this change, you will get the support that you want because you're making a positive change with positive intentions. Okay. Um, the other heart chakra card we got is passion. Okay. 
Really, really pretty artwork. So this card says desire, fun, fulfillment, and joy. Um, and it actually came out right below the inner child card. So I feel like having this freedom that physical health will bring you is going to bring you these things, okay? Desire, um, bring forth your desires or it, you're more able to pursue your desires. You're gonna be able to have more fun in life, fulfillment, joy. I mean, look at this kid in the card. I mean, she's so free-spirited. She's having fun. She's clearly loving life. Um, there's a butterfly in that. Actually, there's a lot of, let me hold it and not move around so much. There's a lot of butterflies in this card, um, which to me signifies transformation. And these are like my physical wellness cards. So I'm seeing like a lot of physical transformation with the Scorpio new moon, or, sorry, Scorpio full moon, my apologies. Okay. But again, you're going to be presented with a choice and it is completely up to you whether you charge ahead with this change. All right. So next for emotional healing, I'm going to be pulling from my self care Oracle deck. So we are going to see what forms of self care would be best for you during this full moon in Scorpio. Okay. So these are like tangible, actionable things that you can do. Come on, just give me like a few, sorry, 10 cards. Just there we go. Perfect. All right. And we are in Taurus season, so, so there is a heavy focus on the physical body, okay? Taurus is a fixed earth sign, all right? So we have three cards. First, we have sweet treat, okay? Now, to me, in my, in my deck for this, and because we're talking about improving your health, this is more having a sweet treat without guilt, but also creating a sweet treat that you don't feel guilty about. Meaning, how can you recreate one of your favorite desserts or sweet treats in a healthier way? There are so many recipes online, you guys. I mean, hit up Pinterest. You'll find like 100 recipes in 10 seconds. Um, but this is all about recreating um, one of your favorite desserts or treats in a healthier manner. Okay. I'm hearing gluten and dairy free also, um, at least that's what I teach my clients to do. I'm an intuitive nutritionist, medium and Reiki practitioner. So, um, feel it out, pick something that you really love. And I guarantee you, you'll be able to recreate it in a really, really yummy way that is guilt free. Next we have make an altar. Okay. So for me, this is, <sighs> This is like a gratitude altar. Like what things in your life are you grateful for? Okay. See how she's sitting here peacefully and like looking at her altar. And there's also a picture here as well. Put things on an altar or in your home that because your home could be an altar. It, it really is. It depends on how you feel like what you intuitively are being guided to do. But put things around your home that that help you embrace life more, help you tap into gratitude more. Um, I think, well, working with clients a lot, it's very easy to get lost in the, oh, like life sucks. My body is just not working the way I want it to. I feel like shit all the time. You know, I just don't get why this is happening to me. And then when you do those things, you completely lose that centeredness and that sense of gratitude. And I feel like that's missing here. So bringing in gratitude, putting things around your home or on an altar or, you know, like you can see here that make you happy, that make you grateful, um, that just uplift your vibration, meaning your mood. So like yellow flowers, I'm seeing a lot of sunflowers, daisies, tulips, daffodils would be really, really helpful. Okay. And then the last self-care card we have is a dream journal. Okay, so during this full moon in Scorpio, it's a very deep watery sign, a very psychic sign. So you may be noticing that your dreams have been very, very vivid. Okay, you're like waking up and you're like, whoa, where did that come from? Write it down. 
okay? Write down your dreams, especially now. We are knee deep in this full moon energy. So your dreams are going to amplify, okay? Um, they're gonna become more vivid, meaning you're going to be receiving a ton of messages from your divine spirit team, angels, God, whatever you resonate with. So make sure you are doing your due diligence and writing this down. These messages are going to be specific to your health, okay? Answers to your prayers regarding your health. If you've been praying, asking, I'm seeing someone walking outside, looking up at the blue sky and being like, God, like, what's the answer here? It, it's here, okay? And if you don't want to write it, I do a lot of um, voice memo. I record voice my dreams in voice memos um, because it's just easier for me because I have so many details in my dreams that like writing it like cramps my hand up. Um, I have to make a choice today about a third surgery for my kidney. Lots of emotional feelings, definitely intense dreams lately. Okay, love. Well, number one, you're doing beautifully. Okay, just where you are. And I would meditate on this. I'm hearing like step into meditation, be still. Even if you need to do a guided grounding meditation, um, I f you can tell me or not, but I feel like you've been very up here, very in your head, monkey mind racing thoughts, okay? Um, which can be, ve it's very scary. Like surgery is, you know, a very scary thing to go through, especially if it's your third one. Um, Yeah, your answers are coming, like you're getting them already. It's just all about, yeah, it's all about deciphering. I'm like seeing like Morse code in my head. It's like you're, you're, you're getting messages in your dreams, but you're like, I don't read Morse code. Like what the hell are you trying to tell me? God, source, universe, again, whatever resonates with you. Um, but I guarantee you, if you voice memo, like I said, um, or if you start dream journaling over... What's today, the 23rd? I want to say over the next six days, if you can set a mini goal and dream journal for the next six days, you're going to get the answer that you're looking for. You're going to get the guidance that you're looking for. And I say six days because the full moon is on the 26th of April or the 27th. It depends on where you live in the world. But if you're um, Eastern Standard Time, um, it's or in the US, it's going to be on April 26th, I believe at 11.31 p.m. Um, and if you're UK time, I believe, or yeah, UK time, I believe it's on the 27th, somewhere in the afternoon. Um, but full moon energy can be worked with three days before the actual full moon and three days after. So you're, that energy, those dreams are gonna be coming in until three days after the full moon actually occurs, okay? All right, so, and if you have any other questions, you can also DM me personally if you'd like to ask me more in-depth questions that you don't wanna share on a public platform. All right, so now we are going to pull from my Angel Oracle deck, okay, to see what spiritual healing messages. Yeah, absolutely, no problem. I'm more than happy to answer any questions you have. So we are going to see what spiritual healing messages God uh, source universe again whatever resonates has for you okay what your divine guardian angels archangels i'm seeing um green and blue so for me green and blue wow that's like way too many um so green is the color of archangel Raphael. he is actually the archangel of healing so perf i work with him a lot and he's around me a lot because he is like the conduit for for physical, emotional, and spiritual healing. So if you have any concerns with regard with the physical body and the physical body health, you can call on Archangel Michael to come in and support and offer some guidance. I'm also hearing ask him for um, guidance with regard to your dream interpretation because he's the one sending you a lot of this guidance. Archangel Raphael is with you a lot. Um, and that goes for you who is here presently and whoever is watching this in the future. Archangel Raphael is supporting you on this journey. Um, and then blue is Archangel Michael. So divine protector. Okay. think He's the archangel with like the sword of fire and like all that stuff. So to me, that's saying your health is divinely protected. I'm getting chills as I'm telling you this. I'm hearing just 
trust that, okay. I love when they want me to channel like right off the bat. Trust that we are helping you. Trust that the messages are clear. Consistency is key. I'm just seeing someone write very fast. So they're like, write it down, write it down, write it down, write it down. Because there are, you're missing minute details in the dream. There are, there are details in the dreams that are very important that you think are not. Okay, so this is very important. Anyway, so the two cards that came out flipped up. Appetite. I was actually working with this crystal this morning. Appetite. Progress, not perfection. Don't compare yourself to others or judge yourself. Instead, focus upon how far you've come and all that you've learned. Okay. So I feel like this is about beating yourself up with regard to your progress, with regard to your health. Um, and what I'm hearing like what the doctors have told you to do with regard to your kidney health. I feel like there's like a fluid imbalance or electro electrolyte imbalance that you're dealing with too. Again, I, I'm not just an, an intuitive. I'm an integrative nutritionist. I am formally educated. Um, so I'm like trying to combine the, the spiritual divine messages that are coming in with practical physical knowledge. So you are, you are making progress, more progress than you think you are. The healing process is internal. Yeah, you're, so the internal healing process that is occurring for you right now is happening. Even though you can't see it, it's happening at a cellular level, okay? Um, you may also want to work with appetite, okay? Appetite is really great for... Um, emotional balancing, um, healing of the physical body. It's also really helpful for manifestation. So if you are trying to manifest better health or healing for a specific body part, appetite is a crystal that is very helpful to work with and it's easily accessible, okay? Um, and the second card that came out of the Angel Oracle deck is Peridot. Great crystal for heart chakra okay for forgiveness so if this physical condition is something is occurring because of past choices you have made regarding your health and how you treated your body forgive yourself for that let it go i just posted a when you guys if you guys have time after you watch this check out my post from today um i believe it was in it was the affirmation post. It was something along the lines of um, the past is the past and you are the present, right? So the past is gone. Like, let it go. Okay, you are here now. So you only have control over the present moment. So forgive yourself, okay? Uh, this card says life lessons. And again, what did I say? Green. I'm just going to let you guys take a look at the artwork on this card. The glare would go away. Really beautiful card. Um, this says life lessons. You can break free from recurring negative patterns by praying to know the lesson and blessing they contain. So everything that you experience in this life, number one, you signed up for, okay, before you came to the, into this physical body, you signed a soul contract saying, hey God, I want to learn these lessons and I'm going to come in and I'm going to rock it out. All right. So every lesson that you're experiencing now is a blessing, okay? But what did I say before with the solar plexus cards? This is a, a family pattern, okay? Whatever health choices you have made in your life are directed, are directed from 
behaviors that you adopted from family, from previous generations, okay? So this is not just a life lesson for you. These are life lessons that you have taken on from past generations, okay? So you are doing a lot of generational healing. Um, you chose to come into this life to break cycles, to break negative health cycles, okay? You are setting a new foundation, a new healthier foundation for the next generations, okay? You are setting a positive example. And I'm hearing like, even if you're not a parent, whether you're an aunt, an uncle, brother, sister, or even just a friend, you are setting positive examples to reset the health foundation for everyone that you interact with. So be proud of yourself. Your progress is helping so many other people and you are so much stronger than you think. You have so much strength within you and it is just, it's just waiting to be tapped into, okay? Really tap into that heart chakra, guys. Um, I'm also hearing listen to 528 hertz on the self ratio frequency. If you literally go on YouTube and you type in 528HZ, that is the frequency for the heart chakra, okay? I'm just, I'm, listen to that. Even if you have like five or 10 minutes to give to yourself to open up that heart chakra, it you're gonna find it very helpful. And I feel like a lot of you have been uh, taking like really like stunted breaths or have had like shortness of breath. Like it's very hard for me to take a deep breath right now. Um. If that resonates with anyone, comment below just so I know it's resonating. But um, listening to this heart chakra, uh, self regio frequency is going to open up the chest, okay? It's almost like you're gonna feel this whole new sense of, of being able to breathe and breathing calms you down, okay? And I'm not just saying that like, oh yeah, breathing calms you down. It has a physiological response, okay? When you take a solid deep breath. It's called diaphragmatic breathing using your diaphragm. You fill the belly, okay, with air. And then the air comes up into the chest and then you exhale it out. You do that for two minutes. You are going to lower your cortisol levels, okay? Cortisol is your stress hormone. So if you're feeling stressed, deep breathing actually does work because it has a hormonal effect, okay? It has a physical effect on your body, okay? So, um, Anyone who thinks like deep breathing is like, you know, woo woo, like, oh yeah, just deep breathe. No, no, no. It has an actual physiological effect. Okay. So start using it. Definitely. Especially when you're listening to that 528 Hertz. Okay. So I hope this resonated with you guys. Um, if you have more personal health related questions, again, I am an intuitive nutritionist medium, um, and Reiki practitioner. So if you, again, if you have more personal questions, feel free to DM me. Um, if you don't want to put questions on the public platform, if you have generalized questions and feel comfortable to put them in the comments or on a public platform, please do so because your questions, um, may help someone else, or they may be questions that someone else is too shy to ask. I'm getting a lot of that. Like your questions are going to be very helpful for other people. So if you feel called to do that, I would really appreciate it. If not, that's totally okay too. Um, if this reading resonated, uh, you guys can also make a donation to my channel. All the links are in my bio and in my Instagram. If you're watching this on YouTube, the link uh, is in the description box below. I really appreciate the energy exchange and it um, helps me make more videos like this for you guys and support you. All right, so I hope you have an amazing day and happy um, full moon in Scorpio, all right? And I probably will pop back in here for another reading closer to the full moon just because the energy is so, 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 so high. All right, so again, I hope you have an amazing day. I love you so much and thank you for the support.